Zheng Yi Sao was born in Chen Hui, Guangdong around 1775. Her name at birth was Xu Yang. At the age of 26, in 1801 she married the famous pirate Zheng Yi. Zheng Yi came from a family of well-known pirates who can trace their ancestors back to the Ming Dynasty. In February 1802, Zheng Yi's cousin Zheng Qi was captured and executed by Win forces in the town of Jiangping, today known as Dongxing near China-Vietnam border. After Zheng Qi's death, Zheng Yi quickly took over his fleet of ships and sailed back to the Chinese coast. Following the retreat of the fleet to the Guangdong coast a period of infighting ensued amongst the pirates. Zheng Yi Sao, who was a capable consolidator and organizer, assisted her husband in enabling to unite the pirates into a confederation. The pirates signed an agreement in July 1805 to form a confederation which was made up of six fleets. Each fleet was designated by the color of their flags, red, black, blue, white, yellow, and purple. Zheng Yi took command the biggest fleet in the confederation, the Red Flag Fleet. Zheng Yi Sao gave birth to two sons with Zheng Yi. Zheng Yingxi was born in 1803, and Zheng Shangxi was born in 1807. Zheng Yi fell overboard to his death during in a gale on 16 November 1807 at the age of 42. Zheng Yi Sao quickly took over her deceased husband's pirate operations with the backing of Zheng Yi's nephew Zheng Baoyang. Zheng Yi Sao also brought harmony amongst the different pirate fleets in the Confederation, and was familiar with Guo Padai, leader of the Black Flag Fleet which was the second biggest fleet in the Confederation. Most importantly, Zheng Yi Sao had the support of Zhang Baof, commander of the Red Flag Fleet. This allowed Zheng Yi Sao to effectively command the entire pirate confederation, while Zhang Bao became the official commander of the Red Flag Fleet. According to a government official who led the negotiations with Zheng Yi Sao and Zhang Bao in late 1810, Zhang Bao obeyed Zheng Yi Sao's orders, and consulted her on all things before acting. Zheng Yi Sao and Zhang Bao are believed to have quickly entered a sexual relationship once they had solidified their control over the pirate confederation. It has even been rumored that they had been intimate before the death of Zheng Yi. The following year in 1808 the Pirate Confederation became ominously more active. During the autumn of this year Zhang Bao defeated the Chinese provincial fleet by half its size in two separate battles and cleared the way for the Pirate Confederation to enter the Pearl River in today's southern China. 1808 was an eventful year for Zheng Yi Sao's Pirate Confederation. In March, Zheng Yi Sao led the Red Flag Fleet and the White Flag Fleet into battle against the Qing Navy commander Sun Quan Mu. Heavily outnumbered Zheng Yi Sao, with her lieutenants, Xiang Shainer and Xiao Bao routed Sun's fleet. Then on July 21 Liang Bao was killed by the Qing Navy which also destroyed the White Fleet in battle near present-day Zhuhai. This was a major blow to the Pirate Confederation. Zheng Yi Sao was not deterred by Liang's death and the loss of the White Flag Fleet. In August 1809, Zheng Yi Sao ordered a massive raid through the numerous waterways of the Pearl River. The Red Fleet under Zhang Bao raided around Don Guan. The Black Flag Fleet Guo Padai would raid Shunda. And Zheng Yi Sao would lead her personal fleet to raid around Xin Hui. Guo Padai raid was a bloody six week campaign resulting in the deaths of around 10,000 people. Zhang Bao and his Red Fleet in September 1809 would obliterate a large town near Humun and murdering all 2,000 inhabitants. In late October 1809 the provincial fleet was back to full strength under the command of Sun Quan Mu would again be defeated by Zhang Bao near the town of Xuan. Zheng Yi Sao's success with the Pirate Confederation would soon enter into decline when Bei Ling's enjoyed reasonable success in cutting off the pirates' supply lines together with the organizational limit of the Pirate Confederation. This led to Zheng Yi Sao Zhang Bao and Guo Padai to consider surrendering to the authorities in early 1810. Negotiations with Miguel Jose de Arriaga Magistrate of Macau Zuvitar as mediator Zheng Yi Sao Zhang Bao and Bei Ling were very tense. The first recorded official meeting took place on Zhang Bao's flagship on February 21, 1810. Zheng Yi Sao took matters into her own hands on April 17, 1810 when she took a delegation made up of 17 women and children to Guangzhou to negotiate with Bei Ling. This time Bei Ling gave in to Zheng Yi Sao conditions and demands. Ten days later Zheng Yi Sao and Zhang Bao officially surrendered with 17,318 pirates 226 ships 1,315 cannons and 2,798 assorted weapons to Beiling near Furangsha. 
Personally Zheng Yi Sao surrendered 24 ships and 1,433 pirates under her direct command. Zhang Bao was awarded the rank of lieutenant and was permitted to keep a fleet of 20 to 30 ships under his personal command. Zheng Yi Sao and Zhang Bao were allowed to get married. Zheng Yi Sao and her crews received a pardon from Beiling. Zhang Bao with Zheng Yi Sao were eventually transferred to Fujian where Zheng Yi Sao would give birth to his son Zhang Yulin in 1813. In 1822 Zheng Yi Sao husband Zhang Bao died at the age of 36 whilst serving as a colonel at the Pengu garrison. In 1844 Zheng Yi Sao and her son settled in Guangdong leading a quiet life as the owner of a well-known gambling house. In 1844 Zheng Yi Sao died at the age of 68 to 69 in Guangdong.